Welcome back to Engineering Graphics class. In this session, we are going to discuss how to solve the development of lateral surface problem using Solid Edge V18 software. Here, the problem is given: draw the development of a lateral surface of a cone whose front view uh, is as shown in the following figure. So, they given the uh, the front view and top view as well as, and they given the cutting section here, the truncated and the frustrum. Both uh, the cutting planes are there, and here 30 degree truncated, and here it is cut at in uh, diameter of 50, it is cutting at the top of the cone, and height of the cone is uh, 60. The first we need to mark the the where and all these cutting plane truncated axis is cutting on this cone. We need to mark the reference points what we are giving here A B C D E F G S numbering. Same the reference lines we are drawn here. For that we will give the numbering where and all it is passing through that we need to give the number. So go to text and like this here, it will be a A B C for the line A, then I will make this one clear. Okay, now go to text and here for line A, we can give it as 1, and on this line B and L is coming. So, this one we can take it as 2, 2, and while coming back, we will give number for uh, this L. Now, for the B, we will give 3, and then for D, 4, and then for E 5 and then for F it is uh, 6 and for G 7 and same way uh, H H is on same line of the 6 so we can give it here 8 and this high 9 and the J we can give 10 and then for the K we can give 11 and again back to L we can give 12. So like this totally we can uh, can we are getting the 12 the reference on the what the namings we gave A B C D F on the same reference line that the line is passing on the cone with respect to these points. So we need to identify the length we need to get the the distance of these uh, reference points what we marked to the the outer end this is the slant uh, side because we are getting the length on this if you if you measure the length this is not a true length so that's why we need to draw the lines to the uh, outer ends and we need then we need to find out those uh, length and we can use it for development so go to line normal line from all these points we need to draw a horizontal line towards the any of the sides either this side or this side we can draw it like from 6 you can draw the line here and then from 5 and 9 and from 4 and 10 and then from 3 and 11 and then from 2 and 12 and for the one the total length as usual it will come and next we need to get this length of all these points from the apex with respect to these lines. So we can uh, get that length by using a split option we can use it. By using split option total the entire line. So first you can split this one on this point and uh, smart dimension and get this length and then again take this one and split this on point and then get the length for this and you can just drag it little outside so we can get all the length over there and again split take this line split this on point and then small dimension and then again split on this point more dimension and get this length and again go to split and then again more dimension and the last for 7 we need to again we need to split this again like this we got all the distances from the apex to all these reference points later we will use it there and after finishing this 
so we need to uh, develop the cone first we need to develop the cone to develop the cone we need to find the angle so to find the angle we have a formula so by using that formula uh, we can get that uh, inclination by using see this is the inclination theta equal to r by r into 360 the r is a radius so it is a 50 that is 25 and then this one capital r is this length length total length is 65 and then we are getting 138.46 go to line take a normal line and click here and uh, we need to give the length of the line of adding of this to complete the side length that we got it here 65 so enter the length uh, 65 and you can place it in any direction and you can show the length of that 65 and we need to draw one more line from the same point same length 65 we can click it here and you can uh, show the length of this line also 65 and now go to the angle between and uh, we need to give the angle between these two lines is with what we found that is a 138.46 we need to enter and the line is 138 it is uh, showing and then go to arc by center point and take a center and then from the end of the line we can draw the arc to the another end so now this is the developed portion of this cone now we need to mark the this truncated uh, portion as well as a uh, uh, frustrum po portion and go to line visible line the first we can take this one the directly they given 19.5 this is the frustrum here and take a center and uh, give the radius 19.5 and then draw the arc between these two lines this is the one portion is finished and now we need to find the truncated by all this uh, 12 points what we marked here so to find out this all these 12 points we need to mark here 12 uh, lines we need to divide this uh, development into 12 parts so how to do, uh, divide that so then go to select option select the one uh, select the line and then here we have the option circular pattern so if you select the circular pattern and then it will ask the center so go to the center of the arc this point you can click it and the number of cones we need to give 13 because one common wall a is coming so that's why we need to divide this one into 13 enter 13 and the angle is total 138 that is here what we found 138.46 we need to enter the angle and then finish it so now this is divided into equally parts 12 parts and then we can give the namings here uh, a and this one we can take it as b and this one we can take it as c and this one is d and this one is e and f g h i j k l and last as well as a this is the common one and now after <coughs> After marking all this point, now we need to find all this distance what we measure towards the side length. We need to mark it here. So go to arc by center point and you can take a normal line. First on the A, the point 1 comes that is a total length same 65 and the 2, the 2 is coming on this line. So the distance is 62.35. So go to the center and give the radius 62.35 and then we can draw the arc on the line b as well as line b as well as line l that is also same distance so you can draw the arc here also by taking the same length 62.35 and then draw the arc here and next so next one is uh, point uh, 3 and 11 it is coming on uh, c and k so go to the arc by center point take the center and the give the radius 56 0.11 because see that uh, 3 and 11 is coming on this line this length is 56.11 so you can take it here and draw the arc on here as well as take the same center and draw the arc with giving the dimension 56.11 on the k next uh, next is uh, 4 and 10 so that length is uh, 49.36 take a center and give the radius 49.36 and then on the D 
and as well as 49.36 and j and next uh, 40.06 that is for 5 and 8 take the same center and here 44.06 and uh, for e and then 44.06 and and as well as i and next 40.85 for that is for 6 and 8 and here take 40.85 for f and then again forty point eight five for H and the last is thirty nine point seven nine thirty nine point seven nine it is for that is for last one is G. Okay, like this we got all the points. So we can uh, we can uh, name uh, either like that one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 1. Okay, after marking all the points, uh, then we need to go to curve, curve option, select the curve option and visible line. You can start from, uh, from 1, 1 uh, to 2, then 3. 4, 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then 1. Like this you need to draw the curve and last one you can go to arc by center point visible line. Uh, sorry, uh, line and visible line can join to from point to this point. And now this is the inside portion what is coming that is the development of the given condition.